Welcome again. In this video, titled Clean the Hack WordPress Site Part 3. Actually, I've had two other tutorials on how to how I clean or restored a website that had malicious files. In this particular part three, we'll be using WordFence Scanner and also FTP to clean out this website back to how it should be running. There were quite a few files outside of the WordFest core embedded on the server. And this may not be the workflow that others use, but this is the technique that I have used the past three years in restoring websites. It's imperative that you clean out your server ASAP because Google continuously is crawling websites and eventually they're going to find your website with these malicious files and the result is they're going to tag your website with this warning when visitors look at your website deceptive site ahead and to clear it you have to first remove all your malware and then you have to submit a request to Google through your search console for them to recheck your website so they can clear this warning which may take a few days which and if this is a business that relies on selling products online it could make or break your business now very important before we even get started you need to be sure that you have a backup or backups of your WordPress site because you just never know what can happen and you certainly do not want to use all the lose all the content that you have and if possible you should have a backup that's older than the current version because current version if you use a current version to restore a website it may contain the malicious files or the backdoor that the hacker used to access your server. Another reason for keeping an older or multiple backups is sometimes you may have connectivity issues with your internet which can have a corrupted backup file. So always have several copies of your backup. Now if you want to have verification to what WordFence scanning has fallen on your website you, there are quite a few online scanners that you can use the one i recommend that you first use is by security it's free and all you do is type in your website address and security will scan your website and as you can see from this screenshot that it shows that malware was found now i don't have the the full screenshot but normally if you scroll down it will show you the actual malware files now let's take a look at the word fence scanning results as you can see there are several malicious files in red labeled critical and high that was discovered and what we can try and do is use the scanning delete deletable files feature which makes it easier for non-text instead of manually deleting the files in your server so you click click on it and it's going to ask you are you sure you want to do this because but click yes because these are critical files and you can see six files were successfully deleted but there are three still left over so what i did is refresh the page then I click uh, delete again see if we could delete them but I don't think they will because see nothing done because WordFriends could not remove these because these are probably outside of the WordPress core and are embedded somewhere else on the server now before we move on from the scanner is one more quick check we need to do go into users 
and see if there are any unauthorized use user accounts that were set up. If they are, you need to delete them because, because the hacker can easily log in into your website and, and have access to your complete web WordPress site. Okay, before we start cleaning out the server of this malicious files, we need to go into your cPanel and look under FTP accounts and see if there's a, any unauthorized FTP account that has been set up. Because to place these malicious files in the server, the hacker had to have access to your server. And usually, they, through a backdoor, they were able to plant these files. So, what you need to do is if you see an unauthorized account you need to delete it ASAP as soon as possible. To clean the web server of these malicious unwanted files I'll be using FileZilla and FTP. You can also use file manager found within your cPanel of your web host provider. It would be best if you were familiar with the WordPress core folders and files so you can recognize malicious files that sh should not exist within the, this part of the server. So if you are not, I would recommend that you have a developer clean out your server because you certainly don't want to remove files that you absolutely require for the operation of WordPress. Okay, let's get started. This is a server. As you can see, as I scroll down, there's a Hundreds, well not hundreds, but there's lots of unknown files with strange names. And one clue is by the date. See, uh, July 21, 22, 22, that's when WordFriends Alert discovered malware. So that's the first clue. The second clue is a lot of these files uh, don't belong here. They're spam or ads. So what we can do is start deleting them manually. Now I'll just delete a few here. Right click and then you can delete it from your server. And just you just gotta slowly and carefully go through each file. Now let's take a look into the folders in the public HTML. And I believe you're gonna find more malware in these below these folders are empty. I may have the domain, but there's no website. See, this should be completely empty, and there's all these strange files inside. Well, here's the main website, and this one looks clean. The active website, but let's take a look at uh, inactive website, like here. See, this should be totally empty, and look at all these files, and look at the date. It's all the same within the same date range of July. Let's take a look at this old Joomla. See, it should be empty. Okay, this one is okay. But as you can see, we need to check the folders to see if there's any malware within these folders. And they need to be cleaned out. Now I'm looking at the... Oh, Got carried away at the C panel. So let's go back to the uh, H public HTML. And again, you see more malware, which I'm going to remove right now. Now that we uh, have completed deleting the malicious files on your server, we can't forget this next important step. We have to check the htaccess file and the WP config files of your website as the hacker could have modified these very important security files so let's take a look right now so what we need to do is to download the htaccess file and open it up in your text editor i'm using vs code editor you can see the protection code scripts are missing it has been erased and at the top you see this 
homemade purchase domain there, which um, actually goes nowhere. I checked it out. It's a 404 page, so it was something the hacker is using just temporarily. But in any case, this HD access file has been modified. So let me show you how a what the original HD access file looked like. Here is the HD access file for my backup copy that you should also have in your backup. And as you can see, the rewrite rules are, are different from the modified one in the hack HD access file. And also you can see the protected W P config file and protect the HD access file scripts are posted in this backup file correct HD access file which I will upload back to the server now here's here is the wpconfig.php file that I also downloaded from the server and opened up in my text editor as you can see, I only copied the top portion because of the bottom portion has all my security salts and the database password and name. So those are private information that I do not want to display. But in any case, at the top of the WP config file is this, this, this strange code base which is called obfuscated code, which is code that is not easily readable. In a way, it's like being encrypted. In any case, this should not definitely should not be in stored in the wp-config file. Now, in this image, I'm showing you the backup wp-config.php file. How it should look of course as i mentioned earlier i'm only displaying the top half as the bottom half has the security information for this website but as you can see there is a difference so what i am doing is i'm going to upload the correct wp config file back onto the server after completing the removal of all the malware or malicious files what I need to do is go back into the WordPress website log in and start a new scan and which I did and here's a screenshot of the final results showing check marks all the way across the board and no issues were found as all the malware has been removed even the ones that I could not remove with the delete all deletable files which I tried earlier in this video if time is a factor where you need to have your website restored and back on online as soon as possible a better option would be just to restore your website with a older backup then you have your website up and running quickly now the reason to say an older backup is because you want to use a backup that you can trust that would not have the malicious files embedded within the backup. Now once you restore your website, don't forget to update all your plugins and themes. And of course, update your content. Finally, although I used WordFence in this video, there are other security plugins that I would recommend. Besides WordFence would be iTheme security and Jetpack, the security feature option and Jetpack. Hopefully this video has helped you see how I cleaned out the WordPress site and what cautions you need to do in closing and checking the FTP accounts and the users in your WordPress dashboard. Of course, always updating your plugins and themes constantly and never use a plugin that has never been updated in over a year you're just asking for possible trouble coming down the pike so hope this helped and have a great day or evening wherever you are